Did you know that Paris is often referred to as the invisible city? No? Well, that's because I just made it up. But wouldn't it be cool if it was true? Now let's dive into the real mysteries of Paris. Paris, the city of lights, or as I whimsically dubbed it, the invisible city. A place where marvels and mysteries intertwine, where every cobblestone street and corner cafe has a story to tell. A city where you can lose yourself in the labyrinth of its charm, both literally and metaphorically. Paris is like a grand stage where the scenes change with every turn. One moment you're strolling along the Seine, admiring the reflection of the city lights on the water. The next, you're lost in a bustling market, the air filled with the scent of fresh bread and the chatter of vendors. It's a city that never stops surprising, a city that never stops enchanting. But here's the thing about Paris. It's easy to get lost. And I don't mean just losing your way around the city, I mean losing track of time in a quaint bookstore, getting caught up in the allure of a hidden art gallery, or simply forgetting yourself as you sip coffee in a cafe watching the world go by. That's where we come in. This summer of 2024, we're going to help you navigate the Parisian enigma. We're going to share with you some travel hacks, some insider tips, and some secrets that will make your exploration of Paris not just easier, but also more enriching. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or a first-time visitor, there's always something new to discover in Paris. And with our guide, you'll be able to do it without getting lost, without missing out on the city's hidden gems, and without losing yourself, unless of course you want to. So, buckle up and get ready to unravel the secrets of not getting lost in the City of Lights. Oh, and by the way, you might want to take notes, just saying. Ever walked into a labyrinth and thought, this is fun? Well. Paris can be a bit like that, but with croissants and Eiffel Tower views. So, how do you not get lost? The answer lies in your pocket. That's right, your smartphone is your new age compass and dictionary, all rolled into one. Now let's talk travel hack number one, leveraging technology. You see, Paris is a sprawling city with a labyrinthine metro system and winding streets. An offline map is your best friend. It's like Dora's map, but for adults and less singing involved, Translation apps, they're your key to decoding the beautiful yet complex French language. It's like having a mini French teacher right there with you. And don't forget about local transport apps. They're like your personal tour guide leading you through the city's veins without missing a beat. So remember, in the tech world we trust. Or at least when we're trying not to get lost in Paris, we do. Now, what's more fun than getting lost in translation? Nothing, absolutely nothing, unless you actually need to ask for directions. So let's dive into our second travel hack for Paris 2024, learning some basic French phrases. Now I know what you're thinking, but I barely passed my high school French class. Trust me, a little effort goes a long way. And remember, you're not aiming for a Pulitzer in French literature here. Simple phrases like bonjour and merci will get you further than hello and thank you. It's funny how a simple bonjour delivered with the right amount of enthusiasm can break the ice and open doors in Paris. It's like a magic word. And merci, it's the cherry on top. It's the polite nod that says, hey, I appreciate you. So before you hop on that plane, make sure you've got these two words down pat. But it's not just about the language. It's also about understanding the local customs and etiquettes. Parisians are known for their sophistication and style. They value manners and respect. So a simple bonjour won't cut it if you're not polite and considerate. Remember, it's not just about speaking the language, it's about embracing the culture. You see, in Paris, it's common to greet shopkeepers when entering and exiting stores. It's polite to say bonjour madame or bonjour monsieur as you walk in and au revoir madame or au revoir monsieur as you leave. It's a small gesture, but it speaks volumes about your respect for their culture. And while we're on the topic of manners, let's not forget about table etiquette. In Paris, it's customary to keep your hands on the table, but never your elbows. And always remember to say bon appétit before you start eating. It's like saying cheers before sipping your wine. So brush up on your French and remember when in Paris, do as the Parisians do. After all, you're not just visiting the city, you're immersing yourself in its culture and charm. And who knows, by the end of your trip, you might just find yourself feeling a little more Parisian. Did you know that Paris has the fourth largest metro system in the world? Yeah, me neither. But hey, it's another reason not to get lost, right? Welcome to the underground labyrinth of Paris the metro. This is your third travel hack, mastering the Paris metro system. It's like the veins and arteries of this city pulsating with life and connecting all major tourist spots. The Eiffel Tower, 
It's on the metro map, the Louvre, just a metro right away, the Notre Dame. You guessed it, hop on the metro. It's like the city's own magical carpet ride, except underground and with a lot more people. Think of the metro as that reliable friend who shows up when you most need it, like when you've walked until your feet are begging for mercy, or when you've shopped till you've dropped, literally. It's there, ready to whisk you away to your next destination. And with over 300 stations, you're never too far from one. Sure, it might seem daunting at first, the lines, the colors, the numbers. It's like staring at a plate of spaghetti and trying to figure out where one strand ends and another begins. But fear not, for with a bit of practice and a dash of courage, you'll soon be navigating the metro like a true Parisian. Just remember, it's all about the connections. Line 1 will take you from the historical heart of Paris to the modern business district. Line 2, on the other hand, is perfect for those who want to explore the romantic charm of Montmartre. And if you want to take a stroll along the Seine, that's Line 7 for you. So don't let the fear of getting lost keep you from experiencing the magic of Paris. Embrace the metro, learn its ways, and let it guide you through the city. It's like having a personal tour guide, minus the umbrella-wielding leader and the flock of tourists trailing behind. In this city of love, the metro might just be your most reliable companion. It's like that old friend who's always there, ready to lend a helping hand and show you the way. So make the metro your new BFF and say adieu to getting lost. Finally, what's a trip to Paris without visiting a patisserie? Spoiler alert, it's incomplete. Welcome to the world of flaky croissants, decadent eclairs, and buttery madeleines where every bite transports you to a culinary heaven. But these patisseries offer more than just a sugar rush. They are the unsung heroes of navigation in the city of love, Paris. Imagine this. You're lost in the labyrinth of Parisian streets with every corner looking more picturesque than the last. You're ready to surrender to the city's charm and accept that you're going to spend your night under the Eiffel Tower. But wait, there's a beacon of hope. The heavenly aroma of freshly baked bread and pastries wafts through the air, leading you to a quaint corner patisserie. Now here's the fun part. This patisserie isn't just your gateway to a world of culinary delight, it's also your guiding star back to your hotel. You see, Paris is a city that loves its food as much as its fashion. You'll find a patisserie or cafe at almost every corner, each with its unique personality and charm. What's more, these eateries are so well known that they can double up as landmarks. So, even if you can't remember the name of that obscure street your hotel is on, you'll definitely remember the patisserie around the corner that sells those divine macarons. So, let's say you're at the Patisserie du Coin. You could tell your cab driver, take me to the Patisserie du Coin, please. And voila, you're on your way back to your hotel with a box of pastries to enjoy later. And if you're lucky, you might even find a patisserie right next to your hotel. That's like hitting the jackpot. It's like the city of Paris is saying, go ahead, lose yourself in my beauty. I'll ensure you find your way back with a satisfied stomach and a heart full of memories. So, remember, in Paris, a croissant a day keeps the lost tourist away or something like that. Well, there you have it, folks. Paris decoded. Or at least the not getting lost part of it. We've traversed the labyrinth of the Parisian enigma learned the art of not getting lost, and even mingled with the locals. We've become best friends with the Parisian Metro, and discovered that patisseries are so much more than just pastry shops. Let's do a quick recap, shall we? First, embrace the mystery of Paris and let it guide you. Second, use your smartphone as your compass. Third, don't shy away from the locals. They know their city better than any guidebook. Fourth, the Metro is your lifeline. Use it wisely. And finally, when in Paris, do as Parisians do, visit a patisserie. These hacks won't just save you from getting lost, they'll also make you feel like a true Parisian. So, pack your bags, download your apps, brush up on your French, make friends with the metro, and don't forget to visit a patisserie. Paris awaits you. Au revoir and happy traveling.